Snowy owls. I am dying to see one in the wild. These large owls are mostly found in the Arctic tundra. Small numbers fly south in the winter into the northern United States. When these birds fly south out of their normal range, it is called eruption. Snowy owls eat lemmings, voles, mice, shrews, as well as ducks and other water birds. They will also eat rabbits, weasels, and fish. They have excellent eyesight and hearing to locate prey. Predators of the snowy owl include the bald eagle and the arctic fox, who likes to raid their nests. Snowy owls like open spaces, such as lakes, beaches, grasslands, and agricultural fields, and have often been spotted at northern airports. They are much less talkative than other owls, but do admit a shrill whistle when warning their mates. Snowy owls nest in the Arctic Circle during the summer. Nests are built on the ground in an open area. Both parents care for the chicks. Up to 10 eggs may be hatched out, depending on food supplies. Mom sits on the nest for a month while Dad brings her food. Young start to fly at about seven weeks and are cared for until they are 10 weeks old. Females tend to have more of the salt and pepper pattern, while males tend to be more white. Their wingspan ranges from four to five feet across. They are similar in size to the great horned owl. Check out our video of them linked above. And while you are at it, please subscribe to my channel for more interesting wildlife videos. Tips on spotting a snowy owl. Know their habitat and where they have been sighted before in your area. They are crispuscular and active around twilight. However, snowy owls tend to be more active during the day than other owl species. In Wisconsin and other parts of the northern U.S., they can most often be spotted mid-November through the end of March. The snowy owl flies low to the ground and often roosts on fence posts, dunes, or even round hay bales. Like all birds, snowy owls deserve our respect. Don't approach them too closely or deliberately try to frighten them. Do not try to feed snowy owls. Habituation occurs when wildlife gets used to humans. Unfortunately, this typically ends in the wildlife being harmed or even euthanized for aggression. The snowy owl population is hard to determine. They are listed as vulnerable by the ICUN. Denver Holt founder of the nonprofit Owl Research Institute, has noticed a decline of nests in his study area outside Barrow, Alaska. This may be due to climate change and the fluctuating lemming population. The snowy owl does not migrate on a regular basis. It's believed that eruption happens when a larger amount of chicks hatch and they seek out a new territory. Deaths of snowy owls occur by being hit by cars or airplanes. Rodent insecticides are also a known owl killer. Let's all do our part to save owls and their habitat. Thanks for listening and have a fabulous day.